Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of voice the radio, so today I want to tell you about one of the weirdest ways that you can go and buy yourself Pokemon cards. And if you want sweeps as well, have I got news for you. See, I went to see my lovely lady wife yesterday, and I informed her that I had gone and bought some sweets on Amazon Japan, which she thought was a little bit weird. As she probably should. But it's not just any old sweeps, ladies and gentlemen. It's Pokemon trading card game sweeps. Now, these take a little bit of explaining. And, and I'm going to talk about Lost Origin here. Because these are the new ones which are on the way out. They have done these before for other sets. But they're things we haven't talked about before. And I think it's fair to say that these are definitely things we should be talking about. So what we've essentially got here are the Pokemon card game Sword and Shield Gummies Lost Abyss. And they come in boxes of 20 packs. And when you buy them, you get yourself 20 packs, like I say. And each pack has one card and one gummy. And you might look at the front and go, Ah, oh, Giratina V-Star. What are your chances of pulling a Giratina V-Star? Well, you know what? That's actually possible, because on the front of the pack, and at this stage I'm going to give myself a little bit of a pat on the back, because I have been learning Japanese and it is starting to pay off, on the front of the pack they do inform you that there are 22 different cards that you can pull, 16 common, 4 uncommon, 1 Pokemon V, and 1 Pokemon V star. So when they put Giratina on the front of this pack, and they put the image of Giratina V star on the front of this pack, you legitimately can pull a Giratina V-Star from these packs. I'm not entirely sure what the ratios are. The good news is I have pre-ordered a box of these. There will be an opening going up. They're releasing on Wednesday, August the 10th. So they'll get to my house in the UK probably somewhere around Monday the 15th-ish. So there should be an opening the week of worlds of this lovely product that I am... Honestly, far more <laughs> excited about than I should be. And we can see what me balls are like. I do have to point out, though, there is a real missed opportunity here. Because I'm not entirely sure why there are 22 different cards. But they come in boxes of 20 packs. Why can't it be 20 cards, 20 packs, and every box guarantees you one of each card plus the gummies? Like, I cannot be the only one that thinks that would be an amazing way to go about doing this. That just seems like an absolute slam dunk. That just seems way too easy. So, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit sad about that. But outside of that, these look really, really fun. So, who are these actually aimed at? And the fact of the matter is, right, if you're trying to collect Lost Abyss, these will get you Lost Abyss cards. I mean, there are 16 commons. Now, there's more than 16 commons in Lost Abyss. I hate to break it to you. They're not all represented. But, for instance, there are some really good commons which I want to pull in these. Like the Kuramitsu Porygon. I'm a fan of Kuramitsu. I'm a fan of Porygon. That Kuramitsu Porygon's a pretty cool card. Yeah, th that's a common card. That is totally available in here. Or the Okacheke Porygon 2. That's a common. I don't believe the set list for this has actually been revealed, which is a little bit sad. So I can't tell you one way or the other. But these are definitely potentially available. Uh, that Fampy, I have shown you this Fampy art and absolutely swooned over it. This Fampy, again, is a common card. I want to pull a Fampy in a box with these gummies. You get a gummy and a card per pack. It's really cool. I want to pull the Fampy. Or you know what else is a common? The Don Fan. The Don Fan is awesome. And there is actually a little note on the Amazon listing. There is a note on there that says that these cards are tournament legal. They can be used in tournaments. So these aren't some kind of like mini cards or pared down cards or anything like that. These are real Lost Origin cards, just, you know, packaged in a booster pack with some gummies, which I still remain extremely confused by, but confused in the best possible way. Now, I did realise when I opened my box of Lost Abyss, I only opened one of the Hyaganosuke Stone Journer, and that's not good because I need one for my Hyaganosuke binder, 
and I need one for just my Lost Abyss collection. So it would actually be super useful to me if the Hyagana Suitcase Stone Journer could be in the collection. And if it could be one of the ones I pull, that would be absolutely lovely. That would make me very happy. I am slightly worried that you get like the V, all the V Star in a box. But put it this way, right? We know that the V Star that's available is Giratina. We know that because it's literally on the front of the box and on the front of the pack. It's on the advert. It's definitely Giratina. Okay. Well, that's like a thousand yen card. I was showing the other day, like things like Aerodactyl V Star are 80 yen cards. Something like Giratina V Star. It's a thousand yen card. That's 12 and a half times as much. Well, your box of 20 packs here is coming in at like 2,200 yen. If you get the Giratina V Star, that's like half the box on its own. Now, we don't know what the Pokemon V is. I think there is an implication here, or maybe I'm inferring and it's not there, but it clearly seems to be an implication that it is Giratina because Giratina is all over the packaging. Well, that's again a thousand yen card. So, if we're talking about these being like 2,200 yen products, and they are, well, if I pull Giratina V and Giratina V Star, although again, Giratina V Star seems confirmed, Giratina V very much not, that's the box paid for. Straight off the bat, just with those two cards, that's kind of amazing and makes them absolutely worth picking up. Like I say, we've got 16 common, 4 uncommon, 1 V, 1 V star. The V star is Giratina, the V is unconfirmed, but very much, you've got to imagine it's got to be Giratina V at this stage, unless something is just going super, super weird. I mean, don't get me wrong, they could just slow rolls and give us like Aerodactyl V, which is not a particularly sought after card from the set. Um, sorry about that. And I don't think they've got any kind of special markings or anything like that on, you know, there's a sample image that we can see on you know, on the advert here. And it is just your regular, ordinary, everyday, run-of-the-mill Giratina V-Star. It, it's got your same Lost Abyss set number. There's nothing on there which shows it as a gummy card. Now, give me stamps on these and I'll buy multiple boxes to guarantee I pull the whole collection. Even without stamps, this is very cool. But it's not the first time they've done this. They actually did this with Space Juggler and Time Gazer. And to be fair, this one, you can pick this one up on Amazon Japan right now for 1,600 yen. So even though this is, you know, a little bit older, this is not something that's sold out super quickly. It should be 2,200 yen. They've actually gone and reduced the price down quite nicely here. But you'll notice that on this one, instead of being 16 common, 4 uncommon, 1 V star, 1 V, it's 16 common, 4 uncommon, 2 V star. Now, they have confirmed that one of the V star here is Dialga V star, or Dialga as it's actually pronounced, but that's just super weird to me. And that is, you know, it's, it's clearly there, right? The packaging seems to suggest that it is your Palkia there that is, is your other one. That is your other potential V-Star. And again, Palkia V-Star is a very, very sought-after card. It is by far the best card in Sword and Shield 10, Space Juggler and Time Gazer. It's the one that you have to spend the most money to go and try and pick up as a single. It's the one that everybody's, you know, very much after. And it's just extremely weird to me that you can be pulling some of the best cards in the game... In these packs with gummies in. If anyone's wondering this is what the gummies look like. I have it on good authority. That, um, the lovely Primal Lugia has informed me. These are actually apparently quite tasty. Which is I did not see coming. <laughs> but when I do my unboxing. Maybe we'll do a, a live tasting on the channel as well. Not that you really need to see me eat. But certainly, you know, knowing how yummy the gummies can be. I don't believe in sending, I don't believe you're guaranteed the V or V star in the box. You could basically just put a bunch of commons, which would clearly be a little bit upsetting. But this just strikes me as one of the weirder Pokemon products out there. And when I found out about it this week, I was like, yeah, we, we probably need to talk about that. Pulling a Giratina V star. In a, in a pack with sweets. And these are super cheap. Like buying the individual packs over in Japan. Just wandering into a into a company or whatever. And actually picking up one of these. And pulling a Giratina V-Star. You are going to absolutely. You know you're, you're going to plus on that pack. 
That is going to make you feel very, very good just wandering into a shop, buying a single pack and finding out it's got a Giratina V-Star. That it, you know, that was one of the cards I most wanted to pull from my booster box. And I didn't buy, I didn't get any sweets in that booster box. It was very, very sad. But now you know about this, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know your feelings. Are these the kind of things you would pick up if they were out in English? Or do you think they're a little bit gimmicky? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about oh, Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get weekly bonus pods or answer all your Pokemon questions, join the Discord, share deck list, have all kinds of fun, and get shoutouts like the lovely Kenneth. Kenneth is one of our supporters over on Patreon. Thank you very much for supporting Kenneth. You are a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.